Hey, this is Aaron coming to you again from the tap. And today we're gonna to be looking at how you clean filters in hot water heaters. So here we have it. Most homes have a traditional hot water heater like this one right here. It kind of looks like a giant Tylenol capsule. Everybody's seen one in their basement or wherever they've got it. Some homes, however, have what's called a instant hot water heater or tankless hot water heater. This is one brand here. There's a ton of them that are out there on the market. Either of them, whether it's a tankless or whether it's a traditional one, they can build up sediment, which means sediment is getting into your drinking water. And so every year, once a year, you probably wanna just empty them out and make sure you're cleaning the filters. While we're talking about hot water heaters today, where we really wanna start is in our kitchen, at the kitchen sink. Because if you've got sediment buildup in your hot water heater, where you're first gonna see it is actually in the sink in the faucet because you've got a filter here and so when you find sediment and it's pretty common that you do you simply want to run water over it get it out and put it back in so let's start with the instant or tankless hot water heater this model here is from tempera but there's a bunch of different ones out there on the market some of them have an electrical plug that you plug into an outlet if your instant hot water heater has an electrical plug, the first thing you're gonna do before cleaning it out is unplug it. Electricity and water, they do not mix. You don't wanna create an unsafe situation. Now the temper model does not have a direct plug into the unit. So to make sure there's no electricity running into it, we're gonna to go to our breaker box and we're simply going to turn off the circuit that controls the water heater. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stop the flow of water that goes into the tankless or instant hot water heater. Now, this configuration is a little bit unique. Normally what you would have is you would have a valve that you can shut off that is going directly into the tankless water heater. In this case, the configuration is here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut off the water at the main valve. So now you simply are gonna take a pipe wrench and you're gonna unscrew this intake valve right here. And once you do that, there is a small screen, just like your kitchen sink that we saw earlier. You simply remove the screen, typically with a pair of needle nose pliers, you tap out the dirt that's in it, and then you do it in reverse. You reconnect it, tighten it, and you're good to go. Next, we're gonna go back to the traditional hot water heater. And just like the tankless, the first thing we're gonna do is turn the water off. Then once the water is turned off, we're gonna take a hose and we're gonna attach it to the drain. Then we're gonna take the hose, run it to the nearest drain, which is right here. And we're gonna turn it on. And what happens is the water with sediment will slowly start to come out of here. And you wanna let that run until it's fully drained. So what you're gonna notice is, initially when the water comes out of the hose, it's gonna be a little murky. Again, that's the sediment coming out of the hose. So the water coming out has become clear. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the valve off. And simply do the steps in reverse. Remove the hose and then turn the water back on to the unit. So there you have it, cleaning your hot water filter 101. Keep in mind, if you're just a little bit handy, it shouldn't be a problem at all. But if you're not comfortable using a pipe wrench, you might want to call someone who does have a comfort level with it. Maybe it's a close friend, maybe it's a professional. The most important thing is that you're safe. This is Aaron coming to you from the tap. We'll see you next time.